Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be mixing the color called Simra and I already poured some of my magical liquid inside. Now we do not mix in glass. We also do not divulge our formula. Our highlighters that we mix are cruelty free and they are vegan. So they are not tested on animals. They are ultra pigmented. We use the finest, finest mica and there are there is no talc also. Talc, talc, however you say it. There's no talcum. So sit back, enjoy, and relax. I'm gonna start off with a really beautiful baby pink shimmer seashell type of color. Let's zoom in on her. Absolutely gorgeous. It has a bunch of multi colored pearls in there. So that's going to be your base. Simra is a very metallic gold color. Definitely very blinding. All of our highlighters are very blinding. This one is a very popular highlighter. Next, I'm going to add some more colors. I like to layer colors because it's what gives a multi-dimensional finish when you apply it. So it's not a flat color. It does have different shifts of color going on. And of course you can use this as a lip topper or even an eyeshadow. color with a little bit of gold. Just a very tiny bit. This is our next color. It is an absolutely stunning apricot color with gold tones. Let's see where we are right now with this color. So far, so good. magical ingredients. Now to answer a common question that I get, how many do I get out of one batch? That all depends. We do have different sizes on the website. We do a lot of PR packages as well. So sizes all depend. Um, I just like to come back and make more. So I don't necessarily make it to keep it. And we also like to make fresh batches. That way you have a fresh product when you order. So we do make them in small batches for that reason. Let's add some more pearls. And I like to layer different colors of white. That sounds weird, but I think that certain whites have a certain cast and mixing them actually brings out the beauty in the other. Here's a different type. You can see that one's slightly brighter than that one. Finally, I'm going to layer in my last color, which is this one right here. We're going to mix this up and see where we are at with this color. Now, I do have all the colors memorized because they are my recipes. And I've made them so many times before that I can just eyeball the colors. 
and I can tell if it's off. So we're just going to mix this up until we have a good consistency. And then we're going to swatch it. The color is looking absolutely amazing. It's exactly where I want it to be. I'm just gonna keep stirring, make sure there's no lumps of color. And then I will pour it in a pan. Look how pretty that is. And it has a nice bounce to it, which is what I like. I will go ahead with a clean spatula and I'm going to go ahead and swatch this so you can see what it looks like. Once I put a spatula into the mix and put it on my arm, it goes directly in the garbage. We do not cross contaminate. I do have other swatches on my arm. We're going to try this one. This is our beautiful Simra highlighter. And last but not least, we take our 57 millimeter pan because this particular highlighter is a 57 millimeter size. Give that a nice whirl. We're gonna pour it in. and press it. That's where the magic happens. Here we have the completed highlighter.